Today I'm going to make the small radius grinding attachment for my homemade belt grinder. I've been using this grinder for a little more than two months now and I must say that it is extremely handy and that I'm really happy with how it turned out. One nice feature of this machine is that I can switch it over quickly from vertical to horizontal grinding mode. Relatively quickly that is. And that does of course make it perfect for the use with a small radius grinding attachment. I ordered these small radius grinding drums from overseas and they were annoyingly nicely packaged and it took me about 10 minutes to get them out of the plastic. I know, I'm really butchering the unboxing experience, but I'm really not into this kind of fetish. After working on the heavy steel parts of my grinder for so long, these pieces of aluminium chest feel so weirdly lightweight. These are imperial bolts and I really don't feel like using them, so I'm gonna drill the holes out to 10 millimeters. Okay, so let's go to the machine. So this is a fresh piece of square tubing. And I'm just gonna try to lay this out. All right, the belt. Okay, and it hits the knob, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll have to offset this somewhat to the side. And then I need some kind of a pulley on the outer side of the belt. A cheapo bread point bit makes for a perfect transfer punch. And now I'm gonna determine the length of the main piece of tubing. And now cutting the piece that's gonna hold the table. Man, I should really get a new blade for that saw. Oops, tripped the breaker. Ugh. The table is gonna be height adjustable and held in place by a knob. So I'm adding this block to give the threads of the knob something to bite into. I like to put these knobs into the corners, which keeps the pieces that they are clamping down on from rocking. And the piece that's gonna hold the table gets welded onto the main piece of tubing at a right angle. Thank you. 
I got myself this polyurethane wheel of a small lift truck. And with a small bearing inside of the bearing of the wheel I can mark its position. I want that belt to go nice and tight around the wheel holder. If you wanna make a grinder, I think these polyurethane wheels would be a good alternative to making your own. Certainly better than longboard wheels. Steel of course contracts when it's cooling, which pulls the piece over to one side. But I can easily pound it back into position and then secure it with two more tacks. Okay, looks good. Perfect! That polyurethane wheel is quite soft and the bearings roll really easily so I think that wheel should hold up just fine even on the business side of the belt. And a first test run. That wheel just wasn't round. People keep telling me that grinder wheels have to be crowned, but in fact none of the wheels of my grinder are crowned and the belts track perfectly fine. This one however looks like it might have ended up with a little bit of a crown. So here you go. Okay, and finally the table. And here I could even use it for the first time. This table needs to be height adjustable, otherwise you're gonna wear out the belt very unevenly. And it's done! Okay, let's put this grinder into small radius grinding mode.
So I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching and till next time.